Hey, NJRoot22.com here with another vlog about, this is our cheap wine reviews vlog, but we're not doing cheap wine today. We're doing something uh, a little bit off the beaten path, if you want to speak in those uh, phrases. Today we're talking about spiked seltzer, and, and today in particular we're talking about the Smirnoff brand of spiked sparkling seltzer and they all have different words for it. Uh, this is a uh, something that's relatively new to the scene and just in the last year or two they've ex exploded on, on the booze scene. Um, let's, let's try the refreshing test real quick. Ah, it definitely passes the refreshing test in my opinion. I don't drink it out of the can, I drink it over ice Sometimes with a you know, few ounces of extra water because, well, we'll get into that in a minute. Um, we've tried this in the past and from other brands such as Truly or White Claw and I totally did not enjoy the experience overall. I got kind of a buzz after the first half a can or a can and then something happened. I just felt like crappy, not, not in a, in a a horrible painful way but in like an empty like soul soulless way I felt like something had been robbed from me I can't explain that and not many people will get what I'm talking about but I'm very aware of how I feel at all times and I felt like lost but not panicky it just didn't do anything for me I felt like it was something wrong. That, that was with the Truly brand of spiked seltzer. It's called Spiked and Sparkly. I don't know what the hell it's called. And the White Claw brand. And the flavor was somewhat minimal on, on those as well. And then I asked a few uh, local uh, liquor store uh, managers like what, what their opinions were. Because I was fascinated by this because they have stacks, thousands of cases of this stuff. Everybody's drinking it now. Um, and someone had told me that the Smirnoff had the best flavor. And I said, let me give it a shot. I tried it like last week and I said, you know, this is actually pretty good. And I didn't get that horrible feeling. It's one of the lower alcohol content. Some of them have alcohol content as high as 6%, which is pretty, pretty good for a 12 ounce can of fluid. Um, but their carb rates were different too. Cause I mean, I mainly drink red wine because it's relatively low in carbs. I think it's two grams a glass, maybe eight grams a bottle, um, and I drink two two bottles a a, a night, and it's like 16 grams of carbs. I think I may be off by a few percentage points, but I think the red wine is. I don't drink beer anymore at all because I it. For my whole life, I used to suck down like Coronas and stuff like that. It was the worst decision. It, it just wasn't. It made me gassy. I couldn't really eat. I, I'm not a good burper. I can't burp, and it it's it just was bad. Beer, I love beer. It was the happiest buzz you can get, by the way, for me. Uh, beer, beer was a good buzz, uh, but I, I miss it. But I don't miss the 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 way I felt. And I think beer belly is um, truly not a uh, like a folk saying. It really is real. Beer is just I don't, I don't. A lot of people love their beers, especially the craft beers, and everybody's touting craft beers. I believe have gone into the territory of the wine speak, where they talk about all these different notes and brewing process and organic hops. And I, no, I don't do beer anymore. Okay, you can drink beer all you want. It's an American tradition. Hot dog and a beer, baseball, all this stuff. I'm I don't do beer anymore at all. Occasionally, when I'm in a pinch and there's a beer around and the liquor store is closed. I might have one or two, um, but I try my best to make sure that does not happen. So anyway, let's get back onto this uh, spiked seltzer. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna get my case here. This uh, Smirnoff comes in a 12 pack. They also sell six packs of various flavors, individual flavors, but the variety pack comes in with a cranberry lime, berry lemonade, raspberry rosé, and water melon. Okay, and I have, hang on a sec. This is how many I've sucked down before this video. I drank, wait a minute, I think eight, seven. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cans of this that I've sucked down. Oh, it makes me look like a big lush. No, not really. That's uh, 
Yeah, that's about a bottle of wine worth of, of uh, spiked seltzer that I drank. And just to give you a little math, here, here's a little math. You think I'm all about how I feel, but this, this uh, spiked seltzer is 4.5% uh, alcohol, and a case of, of them is 144 ounces. So here's, here's the, the math number, if you can read. 144 ounces times 0.045% is 6.5 ounces of 100% pure alcohol. To give you a comparison, a, a 1.5 liter bottle of wine is 52.8 ounces, and at 13.5%, just to pick a number, you get 7.1 ounces of pure 100% alcohol. So a 12 pack of Smirnoff uh, spiked sparkling seltzer, say that three times quick, is less alcohol by about 10% or so than, than a bottle of 13.5%, a 1.5 liter bottle of 13.5% wine. So you're getting less alcohol. And another thing I'm concerned about, let me take another sip, ready? That's the watermelon flavor I'm drinking right now. In fact, I'm gonna, live on the air, <laughs> I'm gonna crack it open, make a mess, and I'm gonna pour it in here. Every, depending on how much ice I use, I might water it down, because it doesn't really alter the flavor too much, it just dilutes it, and you know, why not preserve your, your integrity a little bit by not getting sloshed at, at a rapid rate. So I have eight, this is eight cans in, I have four cans left to complete the case. It is refreshing, I have to say. Summer drink, a hot day, I think it's a, it's a good thing. And, I, and there's a lot of theories out there on why people drink it, and what the demographic is, more women like it than men. Um, in fact, you can actually get away with drinking it uh, like in public because it doesn't look as innocuous as a bottle of whiskey or um, a, a vat of wine or even just a simple can of Budweiser. Some people can get away with drinking this because it looks like almost like an energy drink and um, whatever. Like I said, I, I the first two brands, the Truly brand, I, I, I felt really something rotten in, like in, a, in a weird, mysterious kind of like way. It, it wasn't normal. Um, maybe I'm the only one on planet Earth. Maybe it's all in my mind. Um, but like I said, the, the buzz came and it never really got higher. It never really, I never, I, I just didn't like it. These, these are pretty good. Let me rank them by flavor, okay? My favorite flavor overall out of all of these is the berry lemonade. The berry lemonade is uh, the most enjoyable. If they sold this in a 12 pack, I would buy this one pretty much uh, without thinking. And maybe the second best flavor, I would have to say, and it's, it's kind of a tie for the worst. Uh, this berry lemonade was, was my overwhelming uh, favorite out of all of them. Um, but it's a, like a tie for worst. It's hard to say which is, which is worse. The watermelon sort of tastes like watermelon, but it also tastes like very artificial. And, and even though I just drank it and gave a thumbs up from the refreshing gulp, standpoint. The Raspberry Rosé is the only one really with a color. It's sort of uh, like pinkish like that. This is uh, okay. I mean, it's a girly kind of drink. Um, this might actually be number two. I, I don't know. It's tough to say. And then there's this last one, which is uh, Cranberry Lime, which I thought was just kind of weak overall. So I'm not going to Maybe this is second and tied for last. I mean, they're all equally not as uh, as as enjoyable as the berry lemonade. So it, it almost depends on your mood. So I, I don't really like those flavors. I don't know how everybody else uses, but this is this one had the most satisfying and non crappy tasting or artificial tasting flavor. This this is good. This is a malt beverage too, and. I don't know, it, it's a big industry and I'm just kind of fascinated as to how it just blew up. And I'm fairly certain without even looking into it that they had a very, very, very targeted and strategic social media campaign because that's pretty much the only way anything gets traction in 2018 and beyond is to have a very well orchestrated social media um, um, strategy and that includes like paying decent money probably less than Super Bowl commercial money but 
paying decent money for highly influential influencers on social media on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and, and uh, WhatsApp and all this other stuff because that's how pretty much half the population under 35 these days gets uh, gets influenced into doing things in our opinion I just use my own two eyes and observe and I notice these these mountainous stacks of towering stacks of these beverages they're commandeering I mean they're really making huge headway in a short amount of time at the liquor stores hundreds upon hundreds of cases of these things are flying out the door liquor stores are having a tough time keeping them in stock um, and I'm wondering, I mean, are people drinking because they truly like it? Is there something addictive in it? Or is it just that they became brainwashed in, into wanting it? Now, let's get into real quick here, the price. The price, I've only checked two places and, and I only know, I mean, the going price for it at like a place like Bourbon Street, which is popular in the western half of New Jersey, along the New Jersey Route 22 area, it's $18.99 for a 12 pack. And that's about the going price. I think $18.99, $19.99, that's about the, the pretty much the price at Bourbon Street for all the major um, sparkling spiked seltzers. But I found this 12 pack of Smirnoff at ShopRite Liquors, which is owned by Quick Check, which is a franchise, which is in uh, Clinton, New Jersey. And they have a couple other ShopRite Liquors around. Um, and they're not all uh, consistent with their prices either, just so you know. Because um, the one in Hackettstown charges different prices than the one in, in Clinton. But they had it for $14.99. So let's talk about economics here. That's $7.50. Now if we take our math for the alcohol content, and you want to say that, that this 12 pack equals, uh, there's the math again. Uh, 144 ounces for 6.5 ounces of pure alcohol versus 52.8 ounces for uh, at 13.5% for 7.1 ounces of alcohol. That's why I like the 14, 14 and a half, and 15% alcohol wines better. You're getting substantially more booze, real booze, the fuel that makes your buzz. So $14.99 for a, for a uh, 12 pack is $7.50 a bottle, $7.49 if you want to be, use the actual marketing. No one does $7.50 or $7.49, $7.99, never $8 even. That, that's the oldest trick in the book to make it 7.99. Doesn't that still make you laugh to this day? Some companies in the past have tried just doing even numbers. I don't know what their success rate was, but to this day, it's still one penny under the even dollar, which is which is just making an even number. So 7.50 for a bottle of wine is right smack dab in the middle of our cheap wine range, which is between $5 and $10. So this qualifies as a cheap booze night. I mean, I don't like spending $14.99 on a double bottle of wine. I like spending closer to 10 or 11 or 12. But I mean, we're grasping at straws, literally, at this point. Um, so I like the Smirnoff. I mean, it may not be the most potent, um, but you do get a, like a slightly different buzz. And I'll end this uh, little clip. I'm already at 14 minutes, which is ridiculous. Oh, one last thing. I water my wine down at least two to one, sometimes three to one. So with this four and a half percent alcohol, the watering down aspect, I think out, oh, having water while you drink is important. No matter, no matter whether it's a beer or a seltzer or wine or hard liquor, you still have to hydrate. I'm a little bit on the fence on terms of how to hydrate. So I'll be drinking the last, I've never been able to put down a whole case in a night, by the way, of this. Because I either get full or tired, it takes forever, especially if you water it down. So that may be a good thing if you don't want to overextend your liver and your whole overall health. But I'm losing my train of thought here, but I'll come back after I kick the case and then I'll, I'll talk, talk to this video camera in the morning and, and say how I, uh, how I felt. Um, the last few times, the three times I've tried a case of this, or almost a case of it in a night, I've, I don't think I've ever felt bad. I, it's for the first time ever though, while I drank the Truly and the White Claw, I didn't feel right. And in retrospect, I, I didn't like that. And that's why I almost swore them off until the Smirnoff, which didn't, doesn't give me that 
empty kind of soulless feeling mm, I don't know like you, you can't always trust what they say they put in it there could be some undetectable organisms that they stick in there just to keep the population dumb I don't know not 100% sure but that's it so I'm gonna go go finish my work up here over here and uh, and come back with an overall review of conclusion about this. I, I like these. I mean, $14.99 at one... Oh, <laughs> last, last quick thing. I keep forgetting. Um, out of all the spark, spiked seltzers, and they all advertise, they have these little stat bars. One gram of car, 90 cal, da, 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 da. The, the Smirnoff one, out of all of them, had the lowest amount of carb it's one period per can other ones they, they like to advertise oh it's only one gram of sugar but they might have two or three grams of carbs overall if you just want the lowest possible carb impact to your diet the Smirnoff ones from what I've seen I could be wrong correct me if I'm wrong had the lowest overall carbohydrate uh, content per 12 ounces so that's why I think I, I like these. So 12 grams of carbs for, for an entire case is pretty damn good. And you're not going to raise your blood sugar one bit with this. I mean, the alcohol will prevent you from losing body fat for, until you recover for a day or two. Um, and that's the way it works. Now look up nutro, nu, nutritional ketosis and alcohol and you'll see that it takes a solid two to three days after uh, having alcohol in your body to lose any substantial body fat. But you know, that's a story for another day. I'll be back with a, a second half update here. 15, 17 minutes now. I gotta make these videos shorter than the half an hour. But since they're stream of thought and unscripted, um, this is the way it's gonna be until I figure it out uh, a better way to do it. So I'll be back in a little bit after I finish four more cans and then tomorrow morning with a hangover um, status report hey I'm back it's a little bit after 1 a.m. I'm about to open up the 12th can <laughs> 12th 12th can of this Smirnoff spiked sparkling seltzer say that three times quick you can't do it spiked sparkling seltzer eh, maybe you can anyway I feel okay um, not nearly as from like a, a double bottle of wine. You know, who knows? I might just reach the tipping point after this. Like I added water to my little uh, mason jar here. And I saved the best one for last because that's, you know, I have this weird thing where I, when I go out to eat or if I'm eating food at home, like, and I have like a myriad of, of food to choose from. I always save the best bite for last. I don't know why. It's like a weird thing. I don't know if it's a childhood. Here, I'm pouring it in. Okay. Anyway. This, uh, this uh, 12 pack, empty 12 pack of uh, Smirnoff spiked sparkling seltzer variety pack. <clears throat> it's like a little bit less alcohol than a, than a 1.5 liter bottle of, uh, I learned this from my dad, to compress milk cartons and bottles just to, to make it more efficient, you know. I hate when people throw out an entire milk carton, they don't even think about it. I always crush it, always crush it. I'm not doing it for the environment. I'm doing it for my own, like, con like my own efficiency. So, forget that. Anyway, I, I think it's a, it's not happy as beer. It's not as buzzy as wine. It's not as angry as liquor. But this is isn't a bad uh, little uh, drinking um, mechanism. Your uh, your mileage may vary and probably will. Um, provided you haven't been influenced by the nefarious marketing people out there that just want to trick you. This this was my foray into the spiked seltzer was completely organic and not influenced by any 
social media or marketing. I just, observation, store presence, conversation, real world physical conversation with people who deal with this on a daily basis. And it took multiple, like, I don't know, almost a 10 or 12 conversations with these people before I, I actually decided to, to give it a shot. Because the fact that it's blown up so fast, I can't put my finger on it yet, but there's something going on. It's either really, really profitable for, for people to make these canned beverages There has to be some sort of profit margin or, or, or the sales are so good. Maybe people are, there's not too many people that drink wine. Maybe people like the cans. I don't know, it's like easy, you know. You could, it's not a long-term relationship, you know. It's like a 12 ounce, you know, you throw it and get a new one. It's a new relationship. I, I don't know. There could be a million reasons why people like these smaller servings. I, I could go on and on and on and on and on about it. I mean, that's a psych psychology uh, uh, um, study that could take 10 or 20 years to figure out exactly what the consumer behavior is. And I'm sure somebody's already figured it out in some of these these dark hidden marketing companies. They, they, they know like that 72% of the population just doesn't like to commit to, to, to a bottle of wine or maybe that, that's too sophisticated still to this day, even though they have cheap wine, box wine, you could, you could, wine should be accessible for everybody. And I think wine is, is, is uh, the best way to get a buzz in my opinion, but hey, you know, you, you may have grown up with a father or mother that just loved their like shots. You want to drink shots? Go ahead and drink shots. I don't care what you do. Everybody's different, but I'm going to say, I mean, I'm almost guaranteed to say that this is going to pass the one case test or two bottle test primarily because, like I said, this, this is how much alcohol I get, 100% alcohol from a 1.5 liter of a 13.5%. This is the same amount of alcohol in a case of this Smirnoff stuff. So I'm, I'm definitely, I drank a lot less. And, and you know, some of the wines I drink are 14 and a half or 15%. That's like eight, eight or more percent or eight ounces of booze. So maybe that, that makes a huge difference. But I'm gonna take one, one last sip. Here we go. Mm. You know what? The raspberry lemonade, by far, is the best tasting flavor. So I'll, I'll bring my camera up to my uh, bedroom and do a uh, morning after. Oh, I just wanted to, my previous video was about, uh, I forget what kind of, oh, this Bayeca, Bayeca, Spanish one that was like $40 on sale for $10 at Byrite. I said in the morning I felt okay and I was just rough around the edges. I, I, I'm not even gonna put it in the review, but I wanna let you know that it, it passed the two bottle test, but with a D minus, okay? It was a D minus passing grade. It was the, the bare minimum. I felt pretty crappy all day today and almost panicky like at some point today. I never really reached that point of, oh my God, I'm never drinking it again. And I probably will drink it again if I have the opportunity or if someone offers me some, I'm not going to do a two bottle thing anymore. Um, maybe if I didn't drink for a week or two before, but that <laughs> rarely, if ever happens, hasn't happened in uh, like a few years. A week is about as far as I go, five days. Um, but we're, we're going to keep these in our rotation. Maybe once or twice a month, I'm going to drink these uh, Smirnoffs. And only at ShopRite, because they, uh, ShopRite Liquors, they have them for $14.99. If I can get them cheaper, I'll, if I find it ever for $10.99 a case, I'll pick up like 10 cases and keep them in the, in the storage area. Because uh, I think these are okay, and they're, I think, even lower carb than uh, red wine, which is, uh, which, is, uh, which is a good thing. But I'm a little bit sad because this is all I have left and I have to make it through the rest of the night. I might want more of something, one more glass. 
do I steal somebody else's wine? Eh, that's not a good idea, but you never know. You do what you have to do. So my next cut on this video is gonna be tomorrow morning wearing the same shirt that I sleep in and I'll let you know how I feel if it passes the one case slash two bottle test. I'm fairly certain it passes, but uh, we'll, we'll see tomorrow. If I don't do a video, I'll, I'll write it in the, in, the, in the story that we post or in the comments or the description of the video. I think it'll pass. And that's it. 1 a.m. signing out. Okay, this is the next day after the uh, Smirnoff um, spiked seltzers, and uh, I feel okay. Um, definitely, I guess you could say past, I'd say maybe a C, C minus uh, rating for the um, how, do, how do you feel the next day um, rating criteria. Um, I'm not a big fan of carbonated beverages in general, so. I don't think I'm going to be buying those things uh, too often. Maybe even on a hot day, like a, a daytime drinking for a couple cans, but not a, not a whole 12 pack. So that's it. I think they did okay. I don't feel like um, rubbish today, but uh, again, not a big fan of carbonated. We'll stick with our wine.